Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Sherry, all right? For now. This is your boy Blood with the Council of Trolls in another video. Today we'll be talking about Resident Evil 2 Remake and Sherry's segment. And why I think this part of the game is just as brilliant as the rest. And this it's just great in general. Uh, but let's get right into it right now. We are just in, uh, I guess we're just watching this little cutscene until it's over. But we'll be in uh, this room Sherry's in that uh, the police chief Irons put her in right now. She's uh, locked up in this room. But uh, we'll be getting out of here shortly. Alright, I just picked up this block and we're about to be on the way. So, this part right here of the game, I like it particularly because... It kind of brings, you know, classic horror without the without all the action and the shooting. It's good to feel like you feel powerful when you have like a gun in any situation, almost. Like you know, it's not as scary when you have a weapon and you're shooting zombies or monsters or whatever the fuck you're shooting at. But when you're just a little girl and you're just trying to escape from this orphanage, look at that, look at that lightning adding to the at atmosphere this horror but when you're just a little girl with no weapons and you're just trying to run get out from this place it just adds to the tension this this puzzle's killing me i i did it like an under a minute though but huh. i had i this is like my fifth sixth time playing through this game so i mean i fucking love this game uh, it took me no time to fall solve that puzzle at all all right, gonna go over here. Uh, this gameplay I recorded about a couple of days ago, just so I can talk about this. All right. What is this? Look how, just look at this. It has like the right tone, right atmosphere. A locked door. But yeah, I love how this part of the game explores Sherry's side. I like how this new addition, they like to have the team just add this part of the game. Just to make Sherry just a bit more of a better character. I'm gonna go through this window here. And I also like the addition to Police Chief Irons, which you'll see here in a bit. Because he really is a great villain in this game. This, uh, what's that term from Dead Rising I like to call? Uh, psycho. <laughs> yeah, he's more like a, he's more like a psycho. I know, uh, I know he's being paid to do this shit, but, you know, still, he's more like a psycho. Uh, that must be the door out of here. Yeah, Sherry, there's no door out of there. But you have no key. Spoilers, it's locked. Little history behind this orphanage Dory, is that the key. Uh, Chief Irons and Umbrella ran this orphanage in order to find test subjects to uh, use the T virus on. You know, to find that super soldier. <clears throat> Which also adds to the back, which adds to the backstory, which I guess makes it much more horrifying. A lot of kids going through in and out this orphanage. I love this hallway in particular. No, it's him. It really does justice. Like this is shit you see in a movie. Look, look at that. Wow. Like when I first played this part, I just thought, like. When I first played with Sherry, I was like, oh god, here we go, Sherry, Sherry's segment's been to be crap, it's been to be butt, I'm not gonna like any of this, but, like, after reading this diary and just, like, going through this part, it, it, it kind of changed my perspective, like, just this little note here, look at that, 
and felt so sad. The child couldn't write. Did not. Well, could write, but couldn't really spell. I'd like to talk about, just for a second, the woman on the table. So it turns out the woman, the woman on the table is the daughter of the mayor in Raccoon City, y'all. Uh, I forgot her name. I think it's Catherine Warren, I think it is. Which is hella crazy. Like, this demented, deranged, crazy, fat bastard. I'm sorry for talking going, over the Sherry? scene. I mean, I'll try to leave some audio you so you guys can hear, point. I know. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> this fat, this crazy thing. bastard. He went out the same know. night this shit was going Just on and please. killed her. Even abducted the corpse, planning later to dissect her and to sell her organs, maybe eat them, play with them. I don't know what the, you know what the fuck this man does, but whatever the psycho wanted to do, I, I can't comprehend. And apparently he's been doing this shit before, you know, the outbreak even started. It wasn't as bad. It wasn't as worse in his past years, but he's still a piece of shit. But which is also... One of the reasons why I like this character, I'm not crazy myself, y'all, just, it just makes for a realistic, believable character, which in turn just makes for a good horror concept, obviously, as you're seeing here. Now, as he was chasing me through the, you know, through the halls and through the main hall, I was, like, my first playthrough, I was flipping the fuck out. Like, I didn't know what this man was capable of. I didn't know what he was going to do. And on my first try, I actually passed it without getting captured or dying or whatever the animation is when you get captured by this man. But I was flipping out. It's all over now. This Doors part in particular locked. is what really made me scared because the fact that you're just in a room, a locked room, Where are you? can't do anything. Show yourself. Little girl. I know Big man, you're right little here. girl. The longer it takes me to find you, no, nothing the you can do. It's gonna be. That just kind of raises the fear cap, you know what I'm saying? That really puts you through some emotions. And it was a really, really good twist from the original, you know, you know running and gunning horror, classic horror survival. Just, just kind of did like a outlast kind of feel. And it, it really did justice, I feel. Now for a second, I'm just going to shut up and just let the gameplay play out, and I will talk here in a little bit. chance show yourself now oh, oh, it burns Now, when Two-Face over there was stumbling and knocking all those, knocking everything over, I figured, you know, his face was burning. He would have to wash his face at some point. So when I seen keys in the door, I took that chance and I dipped. Fuck is my key. Oof. I figured after that he wasn't going to catch up because, you know, after I had opened this door, I would have thought she would have locked that door. That way he couldn't get out. You know, instead of coming down here, letting him come to you down here, even worse. Let's see, I open this door. Okay. See, she has the mindset to lock this door, guys, <laughs> but not the one upstairs. Now, what do you do? I got this first playthrough. Freak me out, y'all. Telling you. Now, he got close with that flashlight. So, this scene, I'm going to let play out, y'all. Because I love it. The game is 
over. No! Now you're in trouble. Now. Let me go! Everyone, this is a game worth having your attention towards. This is one of the early re earliest releases of this year and one of the best games to date of this year. I highly recommend it. Again, this whole part of Sherry, the Sherry segment, really good addition to the game. I'm glad they added it. Couldn't have been better. It added a little twist from the, from the usual about? run and gun Don't classic like horror survival dying. that Resident Evil is known for it, and they succeeded. I'm I'm glad for it. Pendant. Everyone, you thank you for it? watching today's video. To the Council of Trolls, we try to pump out content Fine. the best Where we can, y'all. So please like, subscribe, and thank you for that? enjoying In today's video. Uh, we appreciate y'all watching. Sherry, all right? Y'all have a good one, and please pick up now. this fucking game. I swear, you bastard! If you hurt her.